Hello, hello and welcome. We are playing The Sims 4. So today we are going to be starting the Decades Challenge. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous about doing this one, to be honest. It's quite a big one. It's not one I've done before. Um, so it will be interesting. I've just realised... I didn't plug my headphones in and I haven't done anything to set up properly. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to be starting this off. Hello, Erin. This is going from the very, very beginning. So you're going to see the whole process of everything being set up as well. So it's going to be interesting how this works out. Now, I've downloaded a load of CC. If I go ahead and grab that, how are you doing today, Erin? Hello, pioneer girl. Hello, my timing is impeccable. It really is. So, um, I have downloaded a bunch of mods. Now I need to check and see if it works. And if we have a good uh, variety of clothes for males, females, children, toddlers, etc. So we're going to see what happens. Um, it looks like already straight off the bat I have <laughs> a couple of double full files in here. So I'm just going to go through and any that have a plus one, it means I double downloaded it, which I do see so well i'm terrible for doing this i don't know about you guys anyone out there using um mods and things do you end up double downloading stuff Got quite a few in this row uh because i go ahead and get the downloads from everywhere yeah it kind of it just happens so what we can do I just went to check subscriptions and saw you were about to go live. Oh, brilliant. That is fantastic. So, um, I have the creator, the studio, sorry, open here. So we can go to my downloads, uh, my CC, and now we can go ahead and check that all of this works. Something's not supported. This most likely means the game has been patched beyond this version. Okay. Ah, I need to re-download the studio. Oh, that's a pain. So we're going to do that. <laughs> and update our studio so that I can check everything. Oh, I hate finding the download for this. I don't know about you guys. No, it's, it's none of this. What am I doing? Sims 4 Studio. Can I not update from here? No. Uh, download. Here we go. Download here. This is how I download things. This I'm surprised anything works, honestly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised anything works. I'm just like, click random things and hope for the best. It's terrible. So we are going to be starting this from the very beginning, including, including, uh, hopefully this, <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, sure. Download it anywhere. 0. 0.56. That's, that's it. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I can't believe that I don't have any broken, uh, like I haven't killed my computer at this point at all. I can't even believe it at this point that that hasn't happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're starting this from the uh, very beginning, right at the beginning. So I've got the CC that I have found gonna go through make sure none of it's broken and then we can open the game now we're gonna be starting i think in windenburg potentially or or we could start in um cottage living area henford on bagley but what do you guys think have you played the um 
decades challenge before or have you watched any let's plays that have played it what did you like what did you dislike uh what would you love to see happen in a decades challenge that you haven't seen already um i'd love to know all of these um questions and things answered so let me know in the comment section who it's getting a wee bit hot in here <laughs> So how has your days been, Erin, Pioneer Girl? What have you been up to today? You haven't played but watched. What did you think about what you watched? This is going to be very boring of me just clicking the down button, but you're going to see what mods we, uh, what CC we have in here. Um, and as I said, it's just making sure we have like that one that one is broken so i can go here and that begins with c and it's that one that one's gone and then we do this an awful lot i've got no idea what this thing is it's an undershirt overlay so i'm guessing there's a top that goes with it you've watched a couple what did you think of those um right so this is looking i found one so far so that's not bad going to be fair um oh so we've got a typewriter as well so um one of the careers you can have as a male sim is the writing skit writing career but obviously that's on a computer which isn't really aesthetically pleasing. Now there is the new computer in Henford and Bagley in the Cottage Living Pack. But um, yeah, I thought a typewriter would be perfect for that if it works. Erin, I think the Decades Challenge is amazing. Awesome. What do you think about, what, do you, what did you enjoy about it though? Um... And I'm hoping I've got the right era here. I've gone for a lot of Ed Edwardian stuff as well. So I'm hoping that kind of fits in. Um, you enjoy, what, in the earlier stages? Oh my God, look at that. Oh, that's cute. There's quite a few hats. Uh, oh my God. Where did her face go? <laughs> Some of these are very interesting to look at. <laughs> so what is something that you actually enjoyed from it? Oh, that's pretty. I've got a massive wedding dress in this as well. Like it's huge. It's got a, um, a train and everything. Um, Oh, I see. Oh, so, uh, Pioneer Girl, uh, watching the progress on through the decades, I especially like the older decades. And Erin Rescue Sim, uh, I just wish it started earlier. Ah, fair enough. So, that's something that my historical challenge through the ages is um, going to be doing. It's starting right at the beginning and then it's almost turns into the decades challenge here's the train dress <gasps> look at that isn't it pretty i'm hoping it doesn't catch too much um aaron i loved watching the sets and the fashion and watching them do everything from scratch okay awesome so this is one of those muffins where you put your hands through through it of oh i didn't just do that i did not just do that Oh my God, muffin. There we go, Whew. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to remember, I think it's Gen Games or something like that who did the Decades Challenge very well. Erin, you'd also enjoy the Historian Simmer. I think I'm getting her name wrong. Okay, awesome. Um, if you want to go ahead and put them in the links to their channels in the chat, I can then um, put them in 
the description so that people can follow those links if anyone would like to see other simmers doing this. The reason I am um, streaming this is I've been streaming so, so much recently. Uh, is there anything here? It's an add-on, but there's nothing here. Okay. Um, BC winter, winter coat add-on. Um, I think, Erin, I think the best challenges focus on the community around the main family and how they fit into the community to tell stories, but that's just me. Awesome. Um, yeah, so that makes sense. Um, so that's something that we can look at, um, doing as well is making sure that the sims around have stories going on as well um so yeah i've been streaming so so much recently and i was a bit like i need some direction when i'm streaming otherwise things just <laughs> tend to get a little bit crazy um and so i figured doing another hit challenge was a good idea because i love challenges i absolutely adore doing the challenges right so that's all of our um mods uh, all our cc so um yeah let's see if when we get into game that um is working it, it, if we feel like we've got a good ratio we can always come back out get some more um stuff going on as well go and grab some more so i do have the decades challenge here so again there's going to be a few a lot of quite a bit of reading out in this one because i need to make sure we're doing it correctly now there is a whole aging ritual thing here of how to do it but also however um aging is an important part of the game as it helps to determine when you change decades some people play this challenge so that as each new heir becomes a young adult the decades change and that is certainly the most simple way of playing and i do think we will probably do that or maybe play through two generations and then switch to the next generation i just feel like it's gonna be um especially for streaming purposes a lot better to do it that way um erin like community holidays barn raisings harvest days the weddings of other households and stuff like that okay awesome we will work out how to integrate all of that sort of stuff into here oh my god i'm i'm feeling a bit stuck um so yeah i think we will do it by young adult or even when we've uh, when we feel like we should move on if we've run out of stories things like that to play through so we can do it like that rather than doing all of this which i'm really not keen on doing um going back we have a scoring template which i have downloaded uh downloads and we have that here um it's done a thing but okay um, so yeah, we have like this scoring system. So I'm not 100% on how this works, but I'll go through that in depth in a little bit. Um, so you got the getting started. Oh wow, I'm so thirsty tonight. Okay, so starting sims, you may start with one young adult and find them a spouse, or you may start with a married couple, both young adults. Um, 
you may also include the parents for one of your starter sims as it was common for multi-generations to live in the same home in 1890. If you use this option, any parent will not count towards your overall score on the scoring sheet. It's like they don't exist. So that's fine. I figured we could do a family of three, a mum, dad, the sort of elders, and then having a young adult who can go off and find a partner. I thought that might be a nice way of doing it. So there's bits on where you can and can't live. So basically from this, Del Sol Valley and um, Solani are out at the beginning. You can't go to those places. Um, we should start with the set amount of simoleons and then buy a plot of land or a home and go from there. You can start in an apartment if you want, but we're not going to do that. Um, if you would like to use a money cheat for the start of home, you have to use it as a bank loan, but we're not going to do that. We'll just use what we've got. Um, so it says how you can use the phone. Um, so the cell phones are allowed but only because they are, there are the only way to get some gameplay options. We can't use it to chat, text or for entertainment until the rules specifically specify it. Otherwise, computers are allowed because of the writer career. However, I have downloaded the good girl Lily. Uh, I have downloaded the typewriter, so hopefully that works, fingers crossed. And we could use the likes and dislikes feature to discourage music and activities that wouldn't have been around. There is a war in this and it suggests using the cow plant, but I won't be doing that. I will be using a dice roller. Uh, a roll of the dice and we will go ahead and use MC command to kill that sim in a very gruesome way. Fame systems out essentially until it would make sense. Um, there are odd jobs. Uh, various odd jobs are available for you to earn a little extra money. Given the specific variety of these jobs, it's difficult to place them within the decades challenge structure. Use your best judgment. So, you know, some things wouldn't have been available so just using common sense really eco living is here as well so um there are a lot of aspects around eco living and off the grid that are applicable at various different times so it is difficult to say that you can or cannot use these elements so again, it's just using your own knowledge of what you can and can't do. Like juice fizzing was a thing, but there's a massive computer screen on it. So yeah, um, so that's the general gist of the rules, uh, a very quick like a go over. Um, so we get into the 1890s. Da -da -da. Right, so only male heirs are allowed if there are no sons, then a daughter's husband may become heir. Traits. Daughters must have creative as their first trait. Relationships and woohooing. Sims can only have a relationship with and marry the opposite gender. Sims may only marry within their own ethnicity slash race. Sims must only try for baby and never woohoo. Teenagers. Teenage Sims cannot mess around. Sims cannot get a divorce unless one of them commits adultery. In this case, flirting with another Sim in front of the spouse. Female children move out once they are married and adoption is not allowed. So a basic set and what you would expect of the era. Home and building. Considering using the off the grid lot trait if you have it um no electricity use candles or lanterns to light up the house out houses required no toilets in the home only bathtubs no showers only wooden furniture is allowed in the house wooden floors and walls no drywall or paper wallpaper rugs are allowed 
buy the cheapest oldest stove refrigerators counters etc no other kitchen appliances are allowed beside the stove a grill and a fridge paintings style uh, allowed uh, landscaping classic impressionism and realism kids drawings can only be hung in the kids rooms that's not even something i would have thought of i uh, think henford would be perfect for starting awesome we will go to henford on bagley then um not allowed coffee tea brews dj equipment earbuds kids tablets thermostats or anything else that obviously wasn't around in 1980 1890 no holiday decorations with the exception of indoor decorations around winter time so basically we could have the winter fest um we can celebrate that and have a tree indoors that they can decorate and things a small personal greenhouse for your home is allowed but large commercial farm greenhouses are not oh i don't know though adoption wasn't really a thing but have Thing, ward was common enough they just worked in working class families or something where education of wealthy families didn't have an heir oh i didn't even know that to be fair <laughs> so a family might have a ward or a, a, a adult male might have a ward okay so education so we do have mc command center so we can turn off the things we need to so elementary school is mandatory but high school is optional high school has a fee it costs 1000 simoleons for every teen going to school Ooh, university men and women may attend university all majors are allowed except culinary arts computer science and psychology student loans are not allowed but scholarships are no kegs no juice pong no robotics careers okay men can only have the criminal boss doctor pioneer girl orphan train was popular in what the late i have no idea what an orphan train is but that sounds awful that sounds awful um so uh criminal boss um doctor education engineer entertainer freelancer gardener law military politics scientist writing who there's a few different ones there obviously not an awful lot men can choose to stay at home and make money through woodworking painting or gardening oh okay that's interesting you can open a retail store or a restaurant only if you have enough money okay in that case one of the mods i need to put in my mods folder is um my uh minimize minimize mods uh where are you carl carl's guide um i've got the dining one and so yeah um what did i miss orphans were put on the trains and traveled through different cities to find homes for orphans some would get uh, good homes but some not so good and were adopted only for working pur for purposes of working oh it was like child labor as far as I'm oh that's awful um well i bet we can put something like that in oh i feel well bad for that okay um so we can have a retail store or a restaurant only if you have enough money women take care of children tidy the house and cook they can help tidy the garden and go jogging for fun oh that's good women are allowed to exercise that's fantastic um 
If a woman becomes widowed, then she may earn money through freelancing, writing, gardening, painting, or woodworking. If she becomes divorced, then she can also join the entertainment musician career. Hello, Rachel. We are doing 1890. So we're doing the decades era and we are starting with the 1890s. So I have a bunch of CC, although not a lot at the moment. Um, that will probably triple by next stream. <laughs> um, Part-time work Men can be fishermen or a manual labourer Women can be babysitter or a manual labourer Teens and elderly cannot have a part-time work Okay Woo All this talking Okay, so miscellaneous your sims cannot go to festivals or city events with the exception of cottage cottage living events i would like a farming family what do you guys think what do you think of the farming family scenario um having them having cows and having chickens having a farmyard and everything having the kids doing the work on the farm as well maybe using one of the adoption um, trains, the orphan trains, where we end up picking up a kid for the extra help. <laughs> um, if your sim gets sick, you can't give them medicine. You have to cure them through natural remedy remedies. What I would like to do is, if a sim gets sick, is to do a dice roll and see if they live or die. Good, very commonly used for decades challenges. Okay, so we're going to be having a farm. Um, your sims may not throw any events besides weddings. Births must occur at home. Babies can only be fed through breastfeeding, not by bottle. Erin really likes that as well. Fabulous. We've got a plan coming into place. Very exciting when this happens. Um... If your family can afford it, then you may hire a butler or maid. However, you cannot hire a nanny. Ugh. Just treat the orphan kindly and fairly. Yeah, except they have to be under the stairs like Harry Potter. <laughs> I kid. I jest. Don't burn me. Um, no fitness or wellness equipment allowed. Sims may work on these skills without equipment. No soccer. It was not popular in the USA around at this time. Vacations are not allowed, but camping is. You have a ton of kids, so there's lots to do on the farm. Only a try for baby is allowed. Oh, but we're going to make that harder because we are going to have the... Risky Woohoo setting on with MC Command Woohoo. Um, we will have Woohoo and Try for Baby off, so it is only Risky Woohoo. They will be, there's a chance that they will get pregnant every damn time. Um, so that is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. So, how are you doing today, Rachel? Um, veterinarians for house, did I miss one? I did. Archaeology became more prevalent in the mid 20th century, but did exist in the 18th. So you can travel to Salvadoria, uh, from the beginning, but keep in mind, this would be incredibly rare and definitely not for a family vacation opportunity. Yep, it's going to be interesting, uh, The this um, woohooing scenario. Uh, veterinarians for house pets were not common. You may have a pet, dog, or cat, but you cannot take them to the vets if they're sick. You cannot spay or neuter them. Small pets were not yet kept in the 1890s. Also, no pet clothing is allowed. All laundry must be done in the wash basin. <laughs> or the clothesline. Playground equipment, play dates and ball pits were not yet invented and therefore not allowed. Sims may become famous for reasonable reasons given the decade. Okay, only men can vote 
on the neighborhood action plans skiing is allowed but snowboarding and rock climbing are not while sims may enjoy naturally occurring hot springs in home um hot springs are not allowed oh okay so if we went to the mountains then we could go in the hot spring because it just happens to be there but otherwise we can't use them uh you may want to start working on the cow plant in this decade but i don't need to worry about that because we're using mc command to murder our sims so that's easier <laughs> to put it nicely oh dear so i think it's time we went and got in game and see if we can create an elder couple mum and dad and a son um and we will see how we get on with this sorry was responding to the risky woohoo only and thinking how much you love babies just got called away to help the hubby no problem yeah um it's gonna be interesting i also think just to really royally destroy my soul that i think that we should do it so that they woohoo once a week i feel like that's a normal time period between woohoos um i think most couples might do it once a week roughly so i think we will have our sims do that because i have the tendency of going i don't want sim babies so they're never woohooing ever and that would just mean we don't <laughs> we don't get kids basically um lo it will be very interesting to watch shah with all the kiddos oh my god interesting will be watching your reaction to the babies mahaha everyone's so evil now guys if you are enjoying the stream then make sure to like and subscribe and share there's always so much going on on the channel. I literally have something every single day. And at the moment, I am streaming more often than I am not. Um, which is why we've just started another challenge. <laughs> to give us some variety. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, make sure you do that. Also, in the chat, you have Erin the Rescue Simmer and Pioneer Girl 08. They're both fantastic YouTubers. And you should definitely go and check them out. I have had way too much fizzy drink tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're both fantastic YouTubers. Go check them out and then come back here. <laughs> you don't want to miss the mayhem that is about to be unleashed. Lo, we just love watching you and your content. Thank you. So we'll be starting a new game. Now, the Sims that are currently in... Um, Henford on Bagley we are going to change all of their outfits as well so that we have all the sims in the world essentially and I think that's going to be a really good way I tell you what wasn't mentioned on the rules but would be a good one to do is for um the errands around Henford on Bagley I feel like all of those they tend to be collecting things and old-fashioned styled um drink making and stuff like that so i think that would be a really really good one to use um just trying to i i want a sim that i kind of like the look of straight off the bat um that's gonna be easy to use oh my god Lobo. I feel like we could use this one. Um, okay. I want her to be a little bit rounded. Um, we're going to have to go through and change all of our settings to custom content. Oh, I've only got four dresses. Oh, four tops. Okay. We're going to see how much we have in here. And then decide if we need to go on a custom content search. Um, I would love to give all the homes a 1890s makeover of that's okay. If that's okay. If you don't want to. You are more than welcome to go ahead and do that. 
I haven't downloaded any of the um, custom content furniture and things yet. Um, so if you do, then just make sure you keep a link for me. Um, let's see. Well, that's a wedding dress, so that doesn't quite fit. I want these guys to start at least as working class, so I want to go for like a pinny style. And I don't think I have that. Um, I wonder if you might be able to grab some from the gallery. I probably can. Um... Oh dear. Well, this might be short-lived because I don't like any of these. And the apron ones that I had don't appear to be here. Oh, that might work. Would that work? Yeah, for the starting family. Yeah, um, we could do that. I really wanted, like working class clothes like farm um sims 4 cc 1890s clothes nope not that one no um Oh, I had a couple in here. They weren't any of them, though. Oh, you little bugger. That's very irritating. I wonder what's in the reboot, because there's sometimes some uh, little um, snippets in here that would work. I mean, this is all going to be great for like the six, maybe even the twenties and onwards. But I just feel like it's all a bit too modern. I, don't, I just think all of this is way too modern. What do you guys think? Oh... My house wouldn't be CC free, would be CC free if figured just the townies homes wouldn't need to. That's absolutely perfect then, Erin. If you want to build some houses, then that's fab um, to make over them. And then I can just switch them out, especially if you're doing one for one. Um, I just don't think any of these from the retro boot work. Yeah, they just don't work. Um, hello, Cali Gaming. On The Sims resource, if you go under themes, they do a Victorian one. Uh, thank you for that. Um, Victorian stuff. Is that the right clothing, though? Is that the right type of stuff? Victorian, where are you? There you are. Um, why is all this? So where's, where's the clothing? Did I go on the wrong thing? Ah, clothing and then Victorian. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. How are you doing today, uh, Callie? I had some decent stuff. Uh, we'll go through this and have a wee looky at what we've got. I just wanted our Sims to have quite a, um, like, worn look. Like, they're dirty and they're sort of starting from the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. And then we can build them up. I really just want a pinny dress for our Sims. Just a pinny dress more than anything. Um, this doesn't seem to be hitting the spot though. I swear my, like, the, the correct stuff never shows up on this for me, ever. 
It's so annoying. <gasps> That's so quaint. Oh, I love that. Oh, my God. Come on, give me some stuff here. This is really annoying me. Awesome. It's fantastic. Um, 1890s of the, is the last 10 years or so of the Victorian era. Ah, okay. If you couldn't tell, terrible at history. <laughs> Just in case you couldn't figure that out. Um, oh, that looks good, as does that. And I think I might have that. That would be good for bedtime, wouldn't it? And that's more of the lady of the house. And I don't want them to be the lady of the house. Although I might just grab that anyway, because it's quite pretty. <laughs> I really want, like, servant-type clothing. Like, dusty and dirty and, like, working. Oh, I want an apron one. Where else would I find it in here? Um, maybe Wild West? I wonder. Give me the farm girl. That's what I'm looking for. Farm. Um... <gasps> There. Farm dress with an apron. That's one. But I want it for an adult. Come on. Give me one for an adult. <gasps> oh, that's adorable. It's absolutely adorable for a toddler. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a shame. They wouldn't have worn something like that. Oh my God, some of this is too adorable for the kiddos. Oh my God. We'll have that one as well. Um, oh, what did I miss? Sorry, guys. Um, if you go to Pinterest, there's some amazing CC for this decade. Um, same here, terrible history. And yes, Linz, Linz Lou has a tumbler for decades. Okay. Lin... Wow, what am I doing? Right, what was it? Lynn, Liz. Who else is finding this incredibly painful to watch? Because it is me just writing it. Jesus Christ. Pain. Just pain that was. I've just finished going through this one and then we can go to that one. Not that I'm trying to rush. For <gasps> there. There it is. That's what I want. <laughs> um, I feel like the toddler apron dress is perfect for this era in cottage living. From Erin and Pioneer. Low sending look at your stream vibes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Just uh, trying to do both. It's fun. I love. Oh, yes. Some worked hard jeans. Uh, not quite that. That looks a bit too dingy. I want them working class. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we could have some little piggies, couldn't we? I mean, doesn't really fit, but meant to say chat, not stream. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh. Now look what happened. I wasn't looking what I was doing and I pressed something else. Okay, I think I'm safe. Right. Let's download this zip folder. And we're going to just close the Sims because we're going to have to come back into it now. Um, and start your download. And then on this one... Yes, yes. Original CC. Oh, wow. And it's dated. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Linzu. Oh, 
Um, no painful was me arguing with computer trying to get the video rendered so I could export to tablet and do the voiceover. Yeah, you've been having some fun recently, haven't you? I'm pretty sure I've got this one and I've got that one. This is going to be guessing which ones I have and don't have. 1880s? I mean, that's a little bit before, but we could go for something like that, I guess. Um, I love that this is named. It might not be in perfect order, but it's dated. Oh, wait, where's the date? <laughs> um, she's a lifesaver from Erin and Callie. If you click Lindsay Finds top you should be able to do it by era Lindsay finds 50s um i'm probably just being really blind eras and decades there we go <laughs> that would help um, so we want to go there. Not found. Try late Victorian. Here we go. Um, then tags. Um, Pioneer Girl, I see that I need to check out Lid Zoo's out. Don't do CC, but some of the older styles would be awesome. Um, I think the old couple could be dressed in the clothes before we could do that. I can tell, Callie. I, I don't know what it is, but I can definitely tell that you've been on this website once or twice. Um, so I want to open that one. So this is the... Oh, not there. Hair? Oh, this is a fantastic one as well. We'll just open that one there. Where's the download? Ah, uh, below. Keep reading. Not found. Oh my God, what am I actually doing? What am I doing that's wrong here? Because clearly I'm doing something wrong. Keep reading. Could not be found. Maybe this one doesn't exist anymore? Oh my god. Oh. That one's from her as well. Let's see. Uh, my CC. Um, how do we travel this site? I've been on this one a few times. So we said Victorian. Show the clothes. Okay. Wow. Okay. There's a few things here that we can use. So is all this okay? Because it doesn't look like the right era. Or is it the right era, guys? You tell me. You guys seem to be the uh, experts here. It's giving me Annie of Green Gables vibes. I love it. And my thoughts exactly from Callie. Oh, my God. I want like a full on, I mean, these are so cute. I don't understand how people do the CC because it is so hard to do, to be honest. Edwardian and progressive, roaring 20s, Great Depressions, flying 40s, 1950s, swinging 60s, disco era, decades of decants and naughty 90s. Yeah, okay. So what have we got under tags? By age, clothing, accessories. Sorry, I'm just suddenly exploring the site. <laughs> um, working Cool Swim, where it was really just their undies yes i have got swimsuits for them as well 
Um, ha! Oh, hang on. Did we download this one? Downloads. Yes, it's there. Oh, so I just need to remove all and then add that to the basket and we'll... Uh... Why is there two things in there? Did I add it twice? Uh, working class. Yes, the working class wore their undies, didn't they, in the water? Um, I feel more like I might have lost something. Okay, there it is. Um, is that the one we just added? It must have been. What about this one? Open a new tab and then go there. And that's the Sims resource as well. I'm going to add them anyway. I have a feeling I have these ones, but I might not. So just grab them anyway. I'm working on making over the Sarah and Simon. Oh, I love them. They are probably my favorite couple. Absolutely adore them. These are so cute. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get up the thing here because I don't actually like this website for this reason because you have to search for it like this. So this, let's just go back. Yeah, I don't like the way everything's laid out on this. So this is Vintage Men. Exercise outfit, was it? Yes. So it's that one. Download. Yeah, I don't like the way it's set out on there. It's really not my cup of tea. Oh, I did it twice. That's fine. Uh, what else we got? We got the Victorian conservative. Victorian, Victorian conservative. Then we got the boldness beckons. It's doable on here. It's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> you never know, Erin. By the time I've uh, done all of this, you you <laughs> you might actually have already done all of them. Little sailor boy. I'm not sure that really suits the era, but you know, we'll throw it in there. Luxury ladies outwear. Oh, why are you, it's not finding anything. How was it spelled? Oh, there. <laughs> okay, so I feel like we're getting a good, we're, we're finally starting to get some CC now. Authoritative. Hello, Cleo. How are you? Um, I've got a Cleo in the house. Hello, pretty girl. Hi. She has to get uh, locked in the bathroom at night because uh, bathroom in the kitchen at night because otherwise she headbutts Owen's door at night. Polite boy outfit. What would you think about having the Moody um, Macmillan household being clutched instead? They're a gay couple. I love them so much, but they wouldn't. This is true. They wouldn't have been. Um, so, yeah, I guess they'd. I'd probably have to delete them. Yeah. Huh. That sucks. That makes me sad inside my heart. But yeah, they'll have to go. However, if they were clergy, 
cl clergy they wouldn't have been expected to marry anyway i don't know what clergy means i'm probably even pronouncing it incorrectly boys suit How are you written then? Here we go. There we go. Getting there slowly, guys. I do apologise that this is taking so long, but... Oh, men of the church. Yeah, we could go with that then. We could change... The house itself could be turned into a... Um church we need a church there anyway so count m yeah we need to have a church in the game anyway and our sims are gonna have to go to church but um yeah wedding dress i've got a wedding dress we're using and gone riding outfit Um, and then the maid's uniform. I love the idea that they found each other and are serving the community and giving love whether others want it or not. Yes, exactly. Uh, maid. Maid's uniform? Maid. made dress oh my god oh, i don't know which one it is okay we'll leave that one then uh so it looks like we've got what's oh hang on there's another page <laughs> uh what have we got just wondering if it's what we're going to be using or not okay yeah we'll leave that i'm gonna download these ones that we have which is going to be a lot of extracting. Um, yeah, we just need to go ahead and extract all of this. Which hopefully won't take too long. My computer's not too bad where this sort of thing is concerned. I had that twice. Okay. That is fine. Extract it. Extract it all. Um. Oh my god, there's so much here. There's so much more than I was expecting. <laughs> Just because it's all broken up into different um, files. I'm going to have to close the door in a minute so Cleo doesn't uh, wander off too far at night time. I do worry that something's going to happen to her. Do you know what? I actually think we have a couple of... Um, clothes that would suit from the sims 4 actually there might actually be some bits in there which would be nice so i've got some really elaborate plans happening for um through the ages i know i've missed like three weeks of upload but i wanted to get the ending right and the series is actually going to end in four episodes and then we will move on to the next era i have a whole thing planned out um so i'm really excited to share that with you guys we are going through the poisoned apple the, the sorry the um forbidden fruit of uh god um and we are going through some whispering snakes whispering in people's ears 
We are going through the Abel and Cain with a little love triangle all going on. So we've got a few different ideas that are going to happen all at once. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I should probably go ahead and check that it all works, but I'm not. <laughs> We're just going to go jump in game and hope that all of the CC is not broken. I can't wait to see from Erin. Yeah, we've got a lot going on with it and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, I've spent a long time working on this. I have spent the last two weeks doing it. Um, so yeah, how it comes out. I haven't even started recording. That's just planning fully planning all of the episodes um so yeah that's gonna be awesome it sounds exciting can't wait to see how things go from pioneer girl okay so let's see if so we're making a mum and dad and then their child we want these guys to be elders <laughs> um and i will get the see see up see what we've got burglar we can be stolen from in the game as well i have burglars installed i love that um so we don't really have any farming cloves here do we nothing nothing here really goes with that type why am i struggling so much i have no problem finding custom content okay so i am gonna say that we need to take custom content off and we'll have a look at what we have available with the game itself what outfit no not that style guess none of those we'll just have to go through and see if we can find some farm clothes go to what outfits go to the outfits where um is there one here that's farming oh you plonker um cottage living and there is suspenders yes um and trousers that are perfect for the man you are amazing oh i think that one oh, i love that one i can't believe i didn't clock cottage living for this pat for this like that's perfect it's cleo in here i think she's gone outside i'm getting cold <laughs> um yeah i think that looks absolutely perfect he does look like a uh, farmer um formal i doubt he's gonna have any formal outings really to be fair none of them really go do they Let's take four more off and give him some boots <laughs> yes yeah he is looking great isn't he maybe he, he can comb his hair back oh, we're not completely shaved yeah he can comb his hair back there are base game ones as well if you want some variety okay awesome we're getting somewhere i was getting really concerned there why does he have headphones on at night who goes to sleep with earphones, honestly? Oh, I want to take that off. And we should have some... Oh, my God. He exercises his brain. I mean, why not? Sure. Go for that, dude. You go for that. Um, and we want to go for boots again. Uh, sleepwear. We should have some good sleepwear here. There. 
Yes. Um, yeah, that looks fabulous. That doesn't. I don't care what area you're in, that does not look fabulous. Uh, what have we got in custom content? <gasps> oh my god! I love this. I absolutely adore this. That looks so good. He looks so smart. Let's give him that back comb again. So he's he's cleaned himself up for this. Swimwear. You got way too much jewelry on, my dude. Nose piercings I don't think were around then. I'm liking the beard to go with him as well. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Uh, boots. And hot weather. I mean, that does look good. I don't quite like that. I feel like they're way too poofy. I do quite like that, but I don't think it quite goes either. Let's go for this one, maybe with a black coat. You know, this is when he's, you know, outside in the cold weather. Okay. What should his name be, guys? Um, I need a name for uh, female and male. Um, obviously, their son is the one that we are going to be working on more than anything. Um, who will be a young adult. Um, let's go for, maybe we can make him a writer and the son doesn't want to be a writer because his, they haven't got a lot in their life. I oh, know I'm sort of coming up with the story. Charles. Darwin. They're the Darwins. <laughs> huh? Rocks nice. oh, nice. Um, what else? Maybe, yeah, let's make him a writer, so creative, and he's the writer. Hopefully that um, typewriter that we've got works. We need a name for his wife. Um, hmm... All clears inside. Oh, there we go. Charles Darwin, I like it. Awesome. Charles Darwin, he is. Do we have a lady of old that we could use? I mean, hang on. When... Uh, do. so he died 1882 so actually as you guys said that you wanted to have them start a little bit earlier yeah okay we're just starting the 1890s but in an alternate universe he did survive um charles Darwin wife was Emma Darwin. Okay. Oh, should we go? Well, we could go for those or we could go for Emma Darwin because that's what his wife was called. Which do you guys want to do? I'm happy to do either. I am struggling with his um, traits though. Maybe he can be ambitious. Auntie. And, oh, I don't know. Emma? Okay, we'll go for Emma. And we'll have to tell Emma that we're not called her, him after her. <laughs> um, Emma is having a break from the streams tonight because she has my son, Owen, <laughs> tonight. Okay, so we are making him a wife. Where's wife? Oh. 
Why do we not have wife here? Oh, husband. <laughs> because I was looking at it the wrong way around. Um, I'm going to have to make her the same color as he is. Roughly, something like that. Um, and so we have Emma. Darwin. Okay, we're starting with the Darwins. Did they have a son? Did they have a son? Um, children. Francis Darwin, Anna jo Darwin. Wait, they're not all of his children. He had 10 children. We're not copying that, guys. That's not happening. Um, Francis, Anna, Charles, uh, George, Mary, Her Henrietta, William, Leonard, Horace, Elizabeth. Damn, he was a busy boy. For daughter, need to name Laura or Mary or for son, Almonzo. Almonzo. Okay, we could go for that. I can't believe he popped out 10 children. He was a busy boy. So I want her to wear a pinny. That's what I'm after. That's what I have been after. That's why we went and got more CC. But it doesn't look like I managed to get any. So let's take off custom content and grab a pack. Well, maybe we'll just find, oops. Um, your face cam seems to be going blurry. Hi. Do you need to refocus? Yeah. Um, is that better? Wrong tab. Okay. Um, right, so I'm looking for a penny, penny type dress. Hello, Regan. How are you doing, my lovely? Thank you so much for joining us. Bit short. I feel like that's quite inappropriate for the era. Um, great. My cat is hunting something from indoors. This is only going to lead with me getting bit. Hmm. Empty. Um, it's good now, but goes back and forth. What is wrong with the silly thing? Huh. So how are you doing today, Regan? It would be under long dresses, really, wouldn't it? I know there's a pinny dress in here somewhere. There is a dress with a pinny. And I am going to find it. I will. It's the last damn thing I do. Is it a cottage living one? Oh, so what do we think about the leak? About the there potentially being a... Um, a... High school uh, expansion pack for you guys that prefer the. There's aprons, you numpty. Ah, uh, they all have trousers. Other than that, are you serious? Oh, that royally sucks. Okay, so that's not happening. So we'll have to go to another idea. Oh, that's really irritating. Um, have we got something that's a bit more scrappy? Oh, we could go for something like that. Can we, like, give her a little bit of a boob bust? Uh, there's also a skirt with an apron on outdoor retreat. I wonder if we can... Go for one like this. Would that work? I'm not sure. 
I'm just not sure. I'm really unhappy with the choices I have. Really unhappy with the choices I have. Um... There's one, it's a bit buttony, but that would be fine. I might make a little bit more sense. There's that, yeah, that's a bit too scrappy, isn't it? I don't know, maybe we go for one of these. Um, have it a little bit shorter. Hello, Masha Sims, how are you doing? You should get the long dress. Is it 1950? So we are in the 18... Um, 90s at the moment. You love my accent, thank you. Um, from England over here. Um, okay, so we'll go for something like that. She's gonna be working the farm, but maybe this can work. Maybe we can. Uh, she's not gonna be working the actual farm, though, would she? Would she, guys? Um, so how are you? Thank you so much for joining us, Mush M Mosha, Musha. Mocha, I, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit crap over here. <laughs> so, hmm. Yeah, if we go for this dress, otherwise I am going to be here all day. All night, in fact, because it's night time now. Um, I'm going to be here all night. Now, I feel like she would have it up in a bun as well. Keep it off her face. She would be baking, knitting and canning. Okay, so she can do that in that. I mean, she's gonna have to make sure she doesn't get the jam on her whites. <gasps> we can do canning. Oh my God. I don't care what area you're in. You don't wear that. That ensemble does not work at all. No, like you may as well just go around butt naked. You would be better off at this point. Um, <laughs> okay, so she's gonna be uh, baking the stuff that um, Charles Darwin makes. Maybe some gardening? Okay, we can work with that. Um, so she, this is a formal affair, event, so maybe having the school teacher look. What did we put Charles in? Because Charles are, is obviously more important because he's male and we're in the sexist era. Maybe then, actually, because party wear, we did put him in that as well. So maybe going for that instead and then she can have this on i think maybe or something like that no that no that um no <laughs> we'll go for that one sleepwear oh my god this <laughs> she i don't think she's going to bed in that uh oh this is athletic wear well, she wouldn't be exercising, so I guess she can wear that in one of the skirts. Just so that if she does change, she's still in the right clothes. Maybe going for the shorter one. Okay, um, sleepwear. Do we have nothing for sleepwear? What you... Feminine and sleep, there's... Oh, it's... oh, I'm on the skirts. Ah. <laughs> Would she be wearing that or would she be doing wearing that, guys? I don't feel like she'd be wearing that. Maybe that? Hmm. I'm thinking that one. We've got one, two, or three. So you guys let me know. Oh my god. Um Again, going for something that's a little bit more. We'll go for the same clothing because I don't think they would have had a lot of options, to be honest. We do only have the one option. Well, actually, we've got two options, which is quite nice. Um, hot weather. That's too short. I think the second option for the sleepwear. One, two, that one. Okay. And Cottage Living has one as well. Ah, so it does. Well, I'll go with that one for now. And yeah, well, that, that's fine. 
Um, hot weather. I feel like she would die of heat stroke. Um, oh, but we do have bonnets as well, don't we? We had some bonnets in here. Oh. Oh, look at her. Oh, that's nice. I thought I had some big bonnets type things. I guess not. Um, uh, maybe we'll leave the hat. And then sleepwear. Oh my God, she's got so much makeup on and everything. Makeup, um, jewelry, sorry. That is right, pretty. It really is, isn't it? Cold weather. We'll go for that one and maybe give her some gloves as well. And then some shoesy woozies. I'm not sure why I said it like that, but yeah. Okay, so she is done. So she has to have the creative one. Um, so let's go knitting. She can do some knitting at home. Uh, we'll go with, we have to do creative. Um, a maker? No, not a maker. She's going to be doing lots of, um, oh, let's make her neat. I feel like that's an obvious one for a female sim. Are you alright, Dallin? And family orientated. I feel like that's the obvious, isn't it? It's just occurred to me we could swap out ambitious for the animal enthusiast because he's going to be farming hard. And lace up boots. Lady of the Knits. Yep, that's, that's the one I went for, so that's perfect. She just needs a parasol and she'd look like a Victorian middle-class painting. Yes. Or big happy family. Um, Lady of the Knits. Okay, awesome. So we have our two, uh, like, matriarchy sims. And they need to have a child who is going to be a young adult, who is going to be our heir. That heir has to be male because we are sexist. And I hate that. Uh, he's a young adult, perfect. There's your dad. Okay. Um... Do we want to keep the red? I quite like the red on him, to be fair. Um, I feel like he would have an all-over stubble, maybe. I don't know. Um, I just want to... Um, 1890s... Fashion? What do men look like? Were men clean-shaven? Uh, moustache, the, so the, the, yeah, okay. So something like that. Uh, she needs to cross stitch, that's all the middle class Victorians did. You like the red hair, okay, so we'll keep the red hair. I'm going to bring him down a bit, he would have to be, um, you know, desirable as well. Um... I don't quite like the eyes, the way the eyes are set. I don't know what it is, I just don't like it. And now I'm just making it worse. Yep. I am screwing up his face. Where's the faces? Can we just like go to a face? There. No. Oh my god. What am I doing? There we go. 
That one. <laughs> He'll probably have a long beard. Um, should we get some other pictures then? I don't know, would they? Because all of these guys seem to have moustaches and things. 1890s dress up. Looks like it might have been the era of the moustache. Um. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just... Oh, look, then a lot of these are showing it to be longer and more bushier. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, so we've got some ideas there, guys. We've got some ideas. Don't forget, if you are enjoying the stream, then please do like um, and subscribe to the channel. There's always things going on. Um, I'm thinking that one. I reckon when the werewolves come out, we're going to get a bunch more hairstyles. I was thinking long too, but looking at the pictures, I know, right? You think you know something and then, uh, it all changes. They had quite short hairstyles, didn't they? In those pictures as well. Weren't they? Yeah, they all seem to have fairly short... Oh, that, he's got quite long hair. Short, short, short. Oh, I really don't know. I think we'll go with that for now. <laughs> this is our heir. This is the one we're going to be playing with. He's the one that's going to want to get this farming going. He wants to do the farming and make a legacy of the family. With all the amazing things that he can do and stuff. My apron's... <gasps> Don't yawn. Not allowed to yawn yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's still early. Uh, overalls. Oh, I do like that. I do like that. It's a bit scruffy, but that's okay. Yes. What do you guys think of how he looks there? Um, I want him to be dressed very similar to Dad is as well for some of this stuff. Um, oh, why did I do that? I wanted... That looks awesome. Or oh, okay. Oh my god, looks fabulous. Uh, sportswear is an interesting one. I mean, they're not, I don't think any of them should go running in what I've put them in. Uh, Pioneer Girl thinks he is looking good as well. That is awesome. So we're, we're on the right tracks at least. We are on the right tracks at the very least, so that is something. Um, maybe that one, and then going for some booties that are black. Nope. Hmm. Those. There we go. We need an outfit, maybe a different colour to dad. Um, hot weather. Yeah. With boots on still. And then cold weather. And... Um... Maybe this one? 
Regan, I have a nine week old puppy and I am watching your video as I clean my room so I can have the puppy come in my room, lol. Fair enough. Oh, nine week old pup. Oh, adorable. Did we have any men's hats? I didn't check. Okay, we do not. <laughs> Okay, so he's going to be farming, so I want him to be something like country caretaker or the freelance botanist. We could potentially do both with him, depending on how long it takes. Uh, loves the outdoors is going to have to be one of them, isn't it? Um, animal enthusiast. And and ooh a maker because that's woodwork and things as well so that works um awesome so here is the family what name did we um have for him i can't remember What name did we choose uh, for the sun? I know it was on here. I just can't remember what it was. Um. Hmm. Don't forget, if you are enjoying the stream, then please do like. Um, it must have been further down than that. A mix of something, fair enough. Where's the name gone? If I began with an M. Almonzo. Almonzo it is, okay. Um, you know, I was just thinking, actually, I think it was mentioned as well. The parents should have been dressed in styles. Ah, yes, that would have made sense. Oh, well, it is, it's done now. Um, otherwise, I've got to go and find more CC for it. Um, but I will have a look for the next stream, if that's fair enough. Okay. Here's our family, our farming family. Um, we'll go ahead and I'm wondering if I can make a house that's 18, uh, 1890s style. What did the houses look like? Um... It's still fun the way it is from Pine Girl. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's pretty much what they have in the game anyway for Henford on Bagley. Um, the decking all the way around. Okay. We can work with that. I mean, I can't create something like that. <laughs> um, no indoor electricity or plumbing if they are new on the farm. Okay. Right, Henford on Bagley. I'm going to place them in this lot over here because there's no one in it. True story, the names I got from Laura in Gals Wilder. If anyone is familiar, Charles and Caroline were her parents and Alonzo her. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll go for this one over here, I think. Or we could go for the existing house. But I feel like this would be better. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Yes. I will see if we could get a house for it um, that's already made um, a decades challenge house that's already made for under 20,000 Somalians would be fabulous. 
Um, so because multi-generations lived in the same house, they will be staying there. All three of them will be living here until the parents die. Oh, that's really cool. Erin's mum used to read the books to the, her and her siblings. Okay. So we want the gallery. And we're going to have a look. Um, lots. 50 by... 40 and kind of something like that um although that hasn't let's take the lot size off and go let's see what people have created uh don't forget to check out any of the names that you like the, the houses that you like the look of and let's hope we get something. Love Little House Stories, written by Laura Ingalls. Never heard of them. Never, ever heard of them before. Okay, so this is 18,000, so it's just out of our reach. But that looks like it would be perfect. Although there is only one bedroom. There's only one bedroom, so that's no good. This is 19. One bedroom and then a blank room upstairs. Eighteen ninety starter. That's 19 again. Looks good as well. It's got everything we need. Oh my god, they're just out of reach, guys. All of them. And that's got the right amount of bedrooms. I mean, I could get them to go fishing for a bit first. Well, this is 15. Oh, but it's literally just the room. Um, <laughs> We're in trouble, guys. Oh, this is 17. I think that this one might be in range. Or what we could do is go ahead and grab like the one I really like the look of, which was, no, not that one. Where was the one with the two bedrooms? This one. We could grab this one and then decorate it ourselves. Let's do that. I'm furnished. Uh... Yeah, so I'm, I, well, I haven't searched for a shell, but I've, I have essentially got on a shell. Um, I do want to move it back. Oh my God. Hang on. Actually, I like the idea of searching for a shell because we might get one with garden. Oh. No? Um, okay. Yeah, I want that house that I had. Why, why is it not finding anything now? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what's this one? Quite like the look of that one. But I do want this one. And there's a spare room as well. Okay. Oh. I know how the goth fam go to makeover. If anything, they should have done the land grub. Sorry, this is nothing to do with the stream. I agree. The goths get way too much airtime. Like, they, the goths have so much airtime. Oh, we can have this one furnished. Perfect. We have just... What do you mean? In, you told me I could have it. Damn it. Right, how much is that one? Because I'll just get the boys to go fishing because I want this house. No, that wasn't the house. Oh, God damn it. Uh, where did that house just go? Wasn't that one. What the hell? 
This is it. Okay, so I'm going to heart this one and pop it in my library. And then we will. And so, uh, Josely Lambert, thank you very much. We're just going to go and get the guys to go fishing very quickly. Just across the water so that we can afford this house. Um, we are we practically have enough money hang on hang on hang on i've just had an idea i just had an idea wait there's nothing here oh god damn it i was hoping i had some trees i could sell hey go and fish with your dad your dad's gone off to fish you're the next generation get your butt over here and fish um yeah, so we're going to pretend that the phone doesn't exist. <laughs> what do you think they should look like, Regan? Um, who is excited for the werewolves as well? Because that is something I am super excited for. Yes, you like fishing. Even if you're not doing it, go fish together with Darwin. Come on. Get on with it. Find those fishies. You found one, yay! We have one little fishy. One person's eating tonight at the very least. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Are the fish not biting? We need those fish biting. I'm getting more and more excited, awesome. So I have recently compiled everything that I currently know on the um on my website gamingwithshar.com with everything that we know about the sims werewolves regan i don't know i just know malcolm needs a makeover i agree but yeah the goths do get so much airtime way more than any other sims do so it would definitely be nice if um yeah some of the others got a little bit of love as well Uh, is, oh, I guess I missed it. Look, foxes. She's just out here using her phone, which she shouldn't be doing. Everyone is using their freaking phone. Right, have we, we, we don't have enough. I know we don't, but I'm gonna wonder if we, whoops, have enough anyway. Nowhere near enough. We're effed. Come on, guys. Get fishing. The more I see of werewolves, the more interesting it seems. Probably not going to get it anytime soon, though. Fair enough. You see, I'm just hoping we don't have a repeat of my wedding stories. I really don't want a repeat of my wedding stories where they absolutely screwed it over. I'm really hoping that they can do a good job with it, have it working properly and all the rest of it. But we shall see, won't we? It would be nice if they actually did a working game. Okay, we're kind of nearly there to be able to get this house. What if you put off the grid tree on the lot? Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Um, okay, I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put this house in. For the one that I like the look of. We can use it as one of the things it did say was to ha do a loan to get out of the house. Um, must treat it like a loan. Where does it say that now? It's here somewhere. Where did it go? Okay. I'm sure it said that we could 
get the house, get a house and use, um, use a loan to get it, getting started. Houses and finance. Okay, yeah, so if you would like to use a money cheat for your starter home, you must treat it as a bank loan. You must repay the loan plus 10% interest before your original sim couple dies. Though throughout the game, you need to add or remove funds from your household. Uh, so if uh, money enter 1,500. Okay, so we can do that. I think they can sell, it doesn't say anything about not collecting, uh, not selling collectibles. Um, so I'm just gonna fund them the extra thousand simoleons that they need. Was it 1,000 simoleons? I should probably double check. Yeah, well, it's less than that. It's about 300, 400, I'll give them. Uh, so I'm just going to... Uh, testing cheats on uh, money. 2,000, 20,000, sorry. So they've got enough, plus they've got a little bit of extra. So that's what we're going to do. Sorry, guys, uh, all that hoo-ha. Um, and furnished and they've got a home yay <laughs> god damn I made that way more painful than it needed to be so we've got plenty of space to expand outwards at the back for uh, the farming land and the cows and things that they will undoubtedly get okay let's get them to come home oh she peed herself Damn. Okay, let's see what's in this house. So we could have a bath. In, oh, we have a bath outside. Nice. Um, so the lot traits we have. We've got off the grid, simple living and wild foxes. So I think they're perfect. I think they are perfect. Let's give them some bonuses though as well. So let's go for um, homey. I feel like if they treated their mailbox like a bank and donated money to a charity we every week, that might work. Yeah, we can do that. That is That would be a good idea. And great soil. We do need a moo moo. Um... I do want to get a typewriter. I want dad to be a uh, writer, but we need a bedroom for the air as well. But not one that's too expensive. <laughs> Damn, that was a lot of money. I also don't, uh, I feel like we should keep that though. Yay for the Moo Moo. Uh, they could also sell crops every Saturday on fair days at the grocery store. Yes, we can do that. That would be perfect. Especially if we were collecting every day. We should get a nice chunk every Saturday. 300 for the typewriter. Oh, I need it to go somewhere though. I might have to. Unless there's a desk that fits. No, no there isn't. We do however have cross stitching here for mum to do. Um, so that is ideal. We'll just have to put that on the table just until we've got enough simoleons. Okay, I think this is perfect. We have the wash basket as well. We have a toilet, the Shrek toilet in here. We have plants already growing here, so that is perfect. So let's get dad to come and pee. Um, get you to come and start watering the plants. We need to buy some chickens. Wait, there's chickens already in here? 
Yes, and there's feed here. What is that? An apple tree. We've got some bees. Oh my god, this is perfect, guys. We have what we need. Um, she's just having a bath. It's going to be hard with the bath being outside, I think. The bath outside is going to be tricky, I think, for us to deal with. Although she seems to be enjoying herself. But she won't be when her son gets home and sees her in the bathtub. I'm hoping... Ah, uh, maybe it's all right. So we've got him doing that. You, you need to come in and... We have simple living on, so we don't have any food yet. We actually don't have any food. So we're going to have to go out grocery shopping. Now, can we write... Ah, that's a pain. I was hoping it would work. No. So we might have to revisit that. Uh, what did it say about electricity? Um... um just trying to scan through this very quickly. Apologies. Eco living. So when did Sims have, when did people have electric? I should probably know this. <laughs> Things that you should know in life when everyone had electric. Off the grid, there we go. Awesome, that works. <laughs> okay, so does that mean these work? Oh, God damn it, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you off the grid? You are functional off the grid and you are as well, yay! Oh, I wonder how they'll you like the tub when the rain starts, unless weather uh, turn, is turned off. Oh, it won't be. If you did the cottage living computer, it looks kind of like a typewriter. You can only use the right interaction on it. Can you? It, but it does take power, so that doesn't matter. So I guess he is going to be um, doing the gardening as well. Um, Mum, you probably... What's wrong? No... You need to come and, oh, let's take her. Oh, right. So we're going to have to travel and go and get some food so they can actually eat because they have no food. They have no food whatsoever. And we have the simple living, which means they need food. So we're going to have to come down here to the marketplace and get some um, food. I love that this place actually probably has good aesthetics for this. Um, so that is very exciting. Um, so let's see if we can go ahead and get some basic ingredients. <gasps> it's 9 p.m. so it's closed. Oh no. 9 a.m. till 7 p.m. God damn it. Okay. Home time. That was a very short journey. Madam Re. Ria. Okay, let's have a looky. Um. Okay, so we've got a typewriter in here, have we? They could go to the pub. I feel like that would have happened. Maybe. Off the grid typewriter. Oh, uh, yes, please. Wow. Well, we know who to go to when we need, um, when we need to have some things done. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Callie has all of the places to get the CC from. Uh, this is perfect. Um, let's just send everyone to bed because it is late. Um, I'm going to have to get them to use a computer so I can change all my settings. Uh, use the bathroom and then sleep on an empty tummy. You have no choice. <laughs> oh, we got stinky washing as well. Awesome. Right, they're all asleep so they can sleep through and then hopefully we can, um, yeah, it will be fine, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we can go and get some food in the morning. As long as everyone wants to sleep through. Which it looks like they are, which is quite nice. Okay, dad is up first. He is hungry, but you don't get to eat. You don't get to cook. Um, yeah, you're not allowed to do that. Um, yeah, you just have to wait until mama's up. Who could be awake, but is choosing not to. Okay. Um, right, 6 a.m. Let's get them to travel off. Uh, we'll get Al Al Almonzo to, um, to do the gardening while they're out as well. Hopefully he'll just do that, um, if we tell him to practice his gardening skill. I'm hoping that would be fabulous. Um, and we can go and get some groceries. It's not open till nine, but maybe they can just grab some breakfast. We can clean the bar. I love it. Order some bangers and mash. And you can order some bangers and mash as well. There they are. They're having something to eat at the bar. <laughs> They needed this. They needed this quite desperately. They were so hungry. Um, right, so if we go tend the garden, Almonzo. Yes, please. Oh, they look quite happy and content with their life. Charles Darwin. I love that we called him Charles Darwin. That That is brilliant. Ah, uh, oh dear, they're getting a little bit frisky over there. All right, come on, nine o'clock. I forgot that it was nine. I saw, I thought it was opened at seven, but it's seven p.m. that it uh, does its thing. Um, are there any collectibles in the world? Because that would be fab. It doesn't look like it. Oh, what's that? No. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's actually any collectibles. Just some plants, but that's not really helpful right now. Okay, it is just about to open. Oh, they opened early. You're half an hour early. Okay, let's get uh, Mama to come and buy some grocery items and some maybe extra plants that they can. <laughs> She's hitting the drink already. Beautiful. Maybe grab, we'll get some uh, fish ourselves. An apple. I'm trying to think of what we need for the recipes. Um, for the fridge. We could grab a bottle of milk. Maybe a couple of eggs. And some bread. Let's go for that. Hopefully that is enough um, for them to be getting on by. And now they can go home. Yay. What are you doing? I can't believe she's drinking alcohol first thing in the morning. She's very brave <laughs> or stupid. One or the other. Okay. Any two fruit would make a fruit salad. Ah, okay. Awesome. The things I do not know. <laughs> Okay, it looks like the garden really needs some getting to. I thought you were supposed to be doing this. Oh, wait, is it okay? Okay, so it looks like we've got... They're just bugs in the air. Okay. Uh, what have we got growing here? We have lettuce, 
strawberries, raspberries, raspberries, blackberry, blackberry, uh, pumpkins, aubergines, tomatoes, mushrooms, potato, carrot, carrot, bell pepper, onion and onion. Okay, awesome. Let's get mum to pop this stuff in the refrigerator. So it looks like I have everything here that can be used anyway, so that's okay. I'd really like them to do some jamming and things as well. I think that would be good. Right, so can you serve a family size? Okay, awesome. She can serve the family size meal. So that means they all get something to eat later. I'm trying to think of what they can do. While the farm's like growing, there's not actually an awful lot they can do, which is rather annoying. Um, let's go and tend to the chicken. It looks like we've only got one. Do we only have one chicken? Oh no, there's another one. Unhappy. So we've got, what have we got in here? We've got one rooster and one hen. Let's scatter some feed. Oh, look at that, the mushrooms have grown. Yay! Like, let's harvest all of that. There you go, you're unhappy because you're hungry. We've got your food. We have just hit the two hour mark, so I do think we might have to leave the stream here. I've got a busy day with the girls tomorrow as we are going to my mum's for a picnic. Oh, can we collect the honey? They're currently calm, so I'm also going to bond with them in the hopes. Oh! Oh God! Did that? Did he get? He did. He got stung by bees. God damn it! Okay, so we've got some honey as well. Oh! Oh, there's a bell pepper that's been left on the floor. Awesome. Let's go ahead and plant that. Dad's looking a bit useless at the moment. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We are going to have to find a lovely lady friend for Almonzo as well. So there is that. Why don't you want to pick it up? Oh, I see. When the person made the house, they didn't leave enough room for the units to be used. And resume that. Okay. <laughs> now they'll be able to do that. Awesome. Uh, they've come inside. I mean, Almanzo's been working hard. Of course, mum's going to be working the hardest out of everyone. Oh, damn. That's expensive. Uh, but yeah. Right. So I am going to leave this here as soon as she's finished cooking. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this setup of the decades challenge we will be playing through this it will not be um set days if i'm streaming and i'm on the sims 4 it will be on this um on mondays and wednesdays we will still be sticking to our disney challenge that's not going anywhere Disney challenge will be every monday and wednesday still but if i feel like um doing another stream um like tonight then we'll go on the on the decades challenge of course i'll still be streaming uh house flipper as well but there is only so much i can do on that erin said the scots house is looking great and i'll make over the gnomes arms next do you mind if i make a lady of alonzo oh yes definitely and her parents 
It would be CC free and you could give them a CC makeover. That is perfect. Thank you so much. And you know what? I don't need to give them a CC makeover. As long as they're in the time period clothes, then I am good with it. Thank you so much, Erin, for putting the work into this play, uh, to this um, Decades Challenge. It's amazing. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we will be leaving it there. I am planning on streaming tomorrow, but because it's not streaming day, it's not Monday or Wednesday, it may or may not happen. <laughs> um, but I do hope you have all enjoyed this stream and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you, Pioneer Girl, Erin and Callie and Regan for being here and Rachel.